Hey guys, you're watching official ZenLab tutorials, and in this tutorial we will learn how to create very basic loop in Zenaposter. For instance, you need to take 10 lines from your list one by one, and you can do that with list processing actions, like let's create list first. Uh, we have already two, but we'll delete them and create a new one. Okay, it's called URLs. Okay, we get line from here. Okay, without deleting it. And we'll save it to URL variable. Okay, we take random line from URL list and put it to variable URL. Okay, we can add 10 such actions. It doesn't look good. It, re it really looks like unprofessional kind of creating projects. But better we can create loop to do that. Okay, what we actually need for loop? We need first value from which we start execution. I often call it counter. Okay, let's create counter in variable and initialize it by zero. So we will take zero line, then first line. So we'll take all lines in order. Actually, we will should write it here as well, like and that we should write for all that actions. Okay. With loop, it's much easier. We have only one verbal counter with zero value, and we'll change its value. So we'll increase it like counter was 0, then 1, then 2, etc. We'll operate with counter. Let's see how it looks. Then we should know how many executions we need. If we know count of executions, it's OK, we don't need any additional variables. But if we want loop go through all lines in our list, we need to know count of lines. OK, let's take it count, put it to variable, count lines. OK, so first we get count of lines, then we need to know when to stop it. OK, for it we'll use if logic, we will compare our counter with count of lines. If counter smaller than count of lines, then we continue execution. We continue get lines. And when it's equal or bigger, we stop execution. Okay? We stop it here. Then if it's counter less than count of lines we get line from URL's list and specify its number for number we will use counter so like this okay and put its value to URL as you know we will operate with counter we will increase its value and we will use this action, get in line a few times. But first it will take zero lines, then first line, then second line, etc. Okay? And then we should increase counter value by using variable processing action. Increase counter. And specify value on which we increase it. It's like counter plus one. And put its value to counter again. Okay. Then we can navigate to this URL, for instance. Like this. Okay. And then we again compare it. Compare counter with count of lines. When it's finished, we can add alert. 
like finished. Just to prevent fail execution. Okay. Let's fill URL list. Add a few lines here. Okay, save and let's debug it. First we get count of lines. You can see a result it's free, free lines there. So yeah, it's right. Then we compare count of lines with counter. Counter is zero and free lines. So zero less than three, yeah. It goes by successful exit. Okay, you can see K okay, took line. First it's Google. And it increased counter and navigate to it. Okay. Then you can see that counter increased, it's already one, but still less than three. Then it took line. Now it's Twitter. Okay, you can see it here in result. Then increase counter, counter is two now. And then it navigate to Twitter. I had misspelling in Twitter. So it's a bit different inside. But it doesn't really matter. Okay. Move forward. The last side is Facebook. And now in logic statement I have to go by unsuccessful exit, red exit, here to alert. Because three not less than three, it's equal. Okay, yeah, we go to alert. Okay. We here. And with next action our project will successfully execute it. Now you know how to create basic loop in Xeno poster. This stuff can be very useful for your future project. Thank you for watching. Bye.